streamed match. Going to be playing against Voodoo Jin. We have Sheik on Luigi action going on next. Generally a pretty rough matchup for Luigi, but one of the things we see because lower tiers don't quite have the opportunities that higher tiers have to get in, they maximize their punishment. They know lots of combos and setups on higher tier characters. Higher tier characters don't even know exist. So, Voodoo might have anti-Sheik technology, and if he does, it'll be really exciting to watch. Still gonna have to give the favorite to Kirby Kaze since he's the more experienced player, and tiers notwithstanding, you have to take that into account. Definitely. And I am joined on the microphone by Vro. Hello, stream. <coughs> Ike player in PM, and right there, excellent play by Kirby Kaze, baiting out those anti-combo neutral airs with shields so he can get grabs Ooh. set up, and the Still up B it. from Voodoo Jin, not quite enough. If you don't know, Luigi is a poor man's cheek. <laughs> Very uh, simple to edge guard recovery. He's an aerials. I don't know how far below the poverty line you have to be for Luigi to be considered equivalent to Sheik, but it's it's down there. He's got some things going from a great wave dash. He misses hitting the edge, but he manages to get Ooh, back with the down B. Misses the spot just me. barely and gets tapped the fair. And unfortunately, we're not whatever crazy punishments I speculated Voodoo Jin having. He is he's not getting. He's just getting opened up and then getting every action he has controlled by Kirby Kaze. It's really hard to just keep the offensive pressure on Sheik. She can just get out so easily, and as soon as it goes back to the neutral game, a huge advantage goes to Sheik. <laughs> Voodoo Jin trying to use his, his little dashing slide off the top platform with the forward B. It looks like styling, but the real goal of it was to try and force Kirby Kaze to have to go on, to want to go onto the edge, then get there before he could react. Finally, a solid edge guard by Voodoo Jin. He's been very heavy on the pressure near the ledge, but it has been paying off. <laughs> Hoping for a misfire. Not a hundred. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Like, I understand that he wanted a misfire, but I don't even know if getting it would have really helped him since he was facing off the edge. He did hit him, so I guess there's that. But seems risky. I'm not the Luigi player, though. I, I also main a character that does like to slide around a lot. So when I played against Voodoo Jin, it was basically. Slide for slide. Yeah, it was. He's so good with that down recovery. It was very silly. And he misses sweet spot just again. If you watch him, uh, <laughs> Kirby this... Kaze is doing some great edge guards with the yeah. low fair or the the down smash with the head hitbox. Very good job edge guarding Luigi. Yeah. If you watch Voodoo Jim when he does his down B, he actually goes into like battle stance where he like hikes his arm over the controller and he's ready to mash. I imagine he surgically has to remove and replace that B button. Many Maybe times actually a, a broken in B button is better than a, a fresh one. Less tension on it so that it's easier. Uh, I love that up smash, just surprising him. It covers a lot of ground space when you combine it with his slide. It's kind of like... Oh, definitely. Moving the hitboxes with yeah. wave dash so beautiful. Kind of like Peach when she wave dashes on Mute City, except not nearly as great. But, you know... That stage is so cool. The fact that he can do it without being Peach or being on Mute City is impressive. Manages to sweet spot the ledge. Up tilt with the wave dash, just as good as up smash, just it's a better combo setup, faster. That's where he goes with his throw. Going for the edge guard opportunity. Good job tell. waiting, baiting for the air dodge. He can tell that Kirby Kaze is not mashing out, so he ended up going for you know, some a players ton of don't, pummels. Some players don't mash out just and they're focused on the DI. Mm -hmm. You have so to know that. Voodoo Jin is up four stock to three for those listening but not watching. And that neutral B doing as much work as it could to make give Kirby Kaze, uh, force him off the ledge, but not quite enough. I don't even think he charges down B last stock to uh, have the opportunity to use it. He did not. Otherwise, I'm surprised he doesn't come off with invincibility and just go straight for it. Most, most time he does. Ooh, sticky walking, not paying off. <laughs> Combo still going though. He has great spacing against Sheik. Yeah, he's definitely showing noticeable improvement over the last match. Kirby Kaze is changing his, his rhythm, making sure, making sure to intersect. Oh, and Voodoo Jin doing something goofy there. I have no idea if he's actually meaning to do all those forward Bs, I'm, but... Maybe it's just a crowd pleaser. It is pleasing the crowd. We have a giant crowd here at Big House 2, day Everyone 2. is watching, rooting for the Jin. 
of Voodoo. Nice little wave land from him, trying to punish that whiff grab. I'm not sure that's the right percent to use that punishment either. Uh, you know, if, as he said, he's, he's try he might just be trying to be a crowd pleaser right oh, now. Oh, that's a lot of NDI. He's going to pay for it. He does manage to wait it out as long as he can. He is still Good alive on the stock. Tilt. Not that time. Forward tilt into forward air. Kirby Kaze's expression extremely impassive. It's business as usual. And Voodoo Jin's got a big goofy gim. Goofy grin, like, I don't know what you expect me to do, guys. Yeah, I'm not sure how he's going to win this. That's it. Down throw, up air, forward air. Nice, solid three-hit combo from Sheik. he has got some good combos. The aerials, he loves them. He's changing his rhythm with how he's landing, so Kirby or, uh, Budujin can't use the same approaches. He ends up just crouch canceling that whole jab sequence of the connecting and uses... Oh. Oh. oh! Still very beautiful. Voodoo Jin. You gotta love the spirit. Kaze, getting the handshake. The whole crowd hyped up, but mostly just witnessing kind of some Luigi devastation. That's what she do, though. I like it, seeing a, a change of pace. Plus, Voodoo Jin's Luigi is great to watch. What a crowd pleaser.